Apps to Apps Comparison by Communicare LLC. We're going to take a look at another ebook reader voice stream app, which is associated with or linked to the bookshare.org. So any individual who has access to Bookshare can download books to the voice stream app and read or listen to those books. If we go to our home in the top corner, you'll see that these are all the items on your bookshelf or look. Uh, in this application, they show the bookshelf more as a filing cabinet. Um, if you And we can take a look at if you're going to add a book, you would hit the plus sign and you would choose what type of the library that you're getting it from. And then within Bookshare, you can search for author title. You can search by grades. And so if we're searching for a magic treehouse, or any textbook that you may be looking for. It will show your display some of your options and then you would hit download to the right of the option to download it to your device. If you are logged on as a sponsor for a school where it says download it would then prompt you to choose which student you are downloading that book for. Once you have it downloaded to your um, bookshelf, you can click on it and access it and read it. We're going to take a look at some of the settings. Um, you can enable Dropbox access, Google Drive. Um, I'm signed into the Bookshare account here. You can manage your voices. So one of the bonuses with VoiceDream is it provides access to a large variety of voices. It will come with an English voice, but if you want a different voice, whether a different male or female, a different language, it is an in-app purchase, but most of the time these voices, I believe they are, you can adjust the speech rate, pitch and volume. I believe they're, they are only a couple of dollars to add different voices. So this application provides a larger variety of voices that are less computerized, um, where individuals may preference that. However, the speech rate, you are unable to slow it down as much as you are able to decrease the rate of speech in read to go So if you do have a reader that needs a much slower reading rate, those are things that you're going to want to try out with that individual. Under advanced settings, you can um, adjust the auditory feedback, um, rewind, and adjust those features there. Within the book, if we select, you can, in the top right, adjust the features for auditory, managing your um, voices or adjusting them and adjusting the speech rate, as well as adjusting what the font size showed the highlighting, the scrolling, character pacing, and then last you have your bookmark that you can put in. Another neat feature of VoiceStream is that it allows you to export text. You can select, you can also highlight within the app using the pencil and it will bring it into an editor where you can translate it or save that. Um, but if you highlight text you can then go to the box with the arrow and you can either export all text, export highlighting, um, or print it, um, which is a, a very neat feature uh, when a lot of our students are required to copy and insert evidence from text. In the bottom left corner, you can see the dots with the lines. That allows you to quickly navigate between chapters um, within the book or books, bookmarks or your different highlights. Within this app, you can search the text using the magnify glass in the bottom corner. This allows individuals to quickly navigate to the same page as the rest of their classmates or search by characters or specific events that may have happened within the book or story. So those are the main features of VoiceStream.